this house and this country to take a second look at the ways in which we allow foreign content on our airways. What kind of opportunities will be there for our young people and our sector's growth if we do not measure the, 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 the kind of information that we relay on our television stations specifically? All the TV stations in our country right now do not limit themselves to the 70% of content from Ghana and 30% from foreign content. The reverse is rather true. Everybody is showing some kind of telenovela that is not adding any value to the culture, the art, and the heritage that we seek to preserve as a people. We are squeezing out the job opportunities for our young people, if we do not take measures, stringent measures, to address this situation. Mr. Speaker, 12 years after the AU was formed, the ECOWAS came into being, allowing us free movement of goods and people. But I dare say that in the wake of COVID, we have not been able to do much across our borders. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana to look at the border communities in our country and the adverse effect of the closure of the border because of COVID. I think that if we are able to put in protocols to open the airports, we can do same to open the borders for our people to be able to get their daily bread. I, the land borders, I want to uh, also commend all the contributors to this statement and to say that the Africa we want is only achievable if we put our shoulders to the wheel and stop copying and emulating what is done in other countries at the expense of what we should be doing with our own art, our culture and our heritage.